In this video, we show you how a 30 kV VLF or very low frequency test was conducted on this new cable installation. These cables will carry a 33,000 volt three phase supply about 800 meters to a transformer. So we have to test these cables to make sure their integrity is good before they can be energized. The field switch gear has been prepared. So there's only one circuit earth on the system at the moment, and that's here in the substation with the earth truck. This is the VLF test set. This is the arrangement of the earthing truck. The earth is on at the moment and the test probes are applied. So first we prepare the connections on the test instrument. Connect it to one of the test connections for one of the phases and then link it with a piece of wire to the other phases. Once we're happy the instrument is set, we can then remove the earth from the circuit. Right, now working under a sanction for test permit, we set up the instrument to give us a VLF of 0.1 Hertz sine wave at 30 kV RMS. So that gives us a peak of about 42.5 kV plus or minus during the test and for a duration of one hour. HV is now on and the VLF test set will now run through its startup sequence. Check there's no problems on the cable before applying the voltage up to the set point. When we zoom in on the display, you'll be able to see the figures changing on the applied voltage and the overall RMS value. The voltage is being applied and it's trying to set at 30 kV. There's also a display that shows the milliamps, the capacitance, and the overall resistance of the cables under test. We have to guard this area off for the full hour and supervise it. So we've got an excess reading of over 20 gig ohms at the moment, 45 minutes into the test. And approximately the same values after an hour. After the hour, the instrument shuts down. Before we can disconnect it, we have to make sure that the system is discharged by using this earth stick as a resistor on the end. And once we're happy that it is discharged, we then apply it to the direct earth connection on the test stick. Right, before we can touch it, we apply the circuit earth back on again on the truck. Due to the length of the cables and the overall capacitance and the high voltage that we applied to the cables, there can be a charge left on the cables which can recover if you don't leave an earth on the system. So even though you can discharge it at this point, later on it can give you a whack. Now it's time to remove the test probes from the earthing truck and box it up. Hope you found this video of interest. If you did, please subscribe. Maybe you'd like to check out a few more of our videos.